All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like to talk about now is we went over Alex. We talked about. Um, I'm sorry. What's your name? Sam. Huh? Sam. Sam. Okay. I'll I'll make sure I I'll make sure I take a note for that. All right. So previously, what we talked about is we looked at our quadratic equations. All right. Now we looked at the quadratic equations and how to label the parts of a quadratic equation. If we're going to look into graphing a quadratic, when we graphed a linear equation, it created a line, right? Well, yes, a quadratic equation is going to create, we don't call it a quadratic, we call it actually a parabola, all right? And a parabola is just the name of a quadratic equation when graphed. And the best thing I can say about a parabola is a parabola is going to take on the shape of a, like a U. We call it like a U-shaped graph, all right? So the parabola is just the name Um, name of the graph of a quadratic. Okay, and it is what we like to call U-shaped. All right, so we'll get into that a little bit. Now, the next thing that we want to talk about is on every parabola, there's a couple points that we need to highlight. All right, for every parabola, there's one important thing. We have an axis of symmetry. All right, so let's just kind of pretend here's my, let's pretend I have a parabola. Okay, it's a U-shaped graph. And what you want to see, Katie and Rose, is you want to understand that this parabola has an axis of symmetry, meaning it's symmetrical. All right, so if I was going to draw a dotted line where it's symmetrical, is my graph symmetrical about that dotted line? No, right? You guys remember geometry. You remember talking about symmetry. If you fold it over, you need to get the exact same graph. However, if I kind of create a dotted line down there, is it symmetrical about that dotted line? Yes, OK? So the axis of symmetry um, is just going to be the line. And let's see how it ends. So it's going to be the line that's going to um, break your parabola into two congruent halves. So you could say half of my parabola 1 is congruent to my other half of my parabola 2. Right? I, was like, I always like to think about when I was um, dealing with geometry, if you kind of like flipped it about your axis symmetry, you'd get the exact same, um, exact same shape, meaning they're congruent shapes. All right? So that's your axis of symmetry. Now to find the axis of symmetry, remember every parabola takes on the quadratic equation of ax plus bx plus c, right? That was in the previous video we talked about that. So therefore, if I want to find the axis symmetry, axis symmetry says if I take the opposite of b and divide it by 2a, I am going to find the x value of my axis symmetry. Yeah, it's ax squared. Right. Otherwise, that would be a linear line, right? Line. So x equals opposite of b divided by 2 times a. That's how you find your axis of symmetry. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, let's say, like for example, what's my axis of symmetry here? Here, my axis of symmetry is x equals 0. Because remi remember, this is a line. It's an axis of symmetry is a line. So it's not just a point. It is a vertical line. And remember, when we learned how to graph vertical and horizontal lines, vertical, and ho vertical lines came in the form of x equals a number. So when x equals 0, I have a vertical line. Because remember, the y values are up there. Are you writing this down? you have this down? Does everybody understand with that? OK. Now the next thing we need to talk about is your vertex. So the vertex of your parabola, uh, run out of time. Vertex is your maximum or minimum point on your parabola. 
All right, I'm going to try to make this go by really quickly. If I was going to draw two parabolas, because I'm running out of time for the bell goes, you guys can say that the vertex is the maximum or minimum point. All right? Does everybody see that? If I'm not going to put them on x and y axes, but if you guys see that, that's going to be your vertex. The one thing I want you guys to understand about a vertex, the axis of symmetry always goes through the vertex. Always. So if you want to find the vertex of an equation, your x value is, hold on guys, opposite of b divided by 2a. That's the x value of your vertex, right? Because your x value lands on your axis of symmetry. Hold on. Excuse me. Just stop. So the y value, remember when we did table of values? If you have a table of values, you plug in x to get your y, right? So we're going to talk a little bit more about this next class period, but the y value is f of opposite of b divided by 2a if we were dealing with a quadratic function, which I'll talk. Can you hold on, guys? Seriously. Just hold on. Thank you. So we'll talk about this more next class period. But to find the vertex, your x value is opposite of b divided by 2a. Your y value is when you evaluate your x to find your y coordinate or your f of x coordinate by evaluating it. So we'll talk about that more next class period, OK? All right, there you go. Yes? Yes, you're supposed to staple your practice test.